Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video we're going to react to how a man escaped police deputies doing 140 miles an hour before getting the surprise of his life. 140 miles an hour is insanely fast. Like to do that on a public road you must have a death wish really. Any kind of mistake like not even a mistake, twitch of the wheel, anything. And it is good night, sweet prince. It is over. I wonder what the surprise of his life was. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he probably crashed. On an afternoon in May 2024, Columbia County Sheriff's deputies were advised of a speeding motorcycle in Marsalon, Wisconsin. He's on a As motorcycle. As the radio transmission concluded, a deputy who was positioned along a highway spotted the 22-year-old rider of the red motorcycle flying past at 90 miles per hour. As the deputy tried to catch up, he saw the motorcycle overtaking vehicles on the shoulder and occasionally in the opposite lane of traffic. 325, there's a red motorcycle passing on the shoulder westbound, approximately 90 miles per hour, 33 Country Club. That guy's nuts. On a motorcycle, there's even less protection. Still trying to catch up. Speeds right up. Yeah, 4 Probably a half mile ahead of me. Received. Speeds at 92.33 Garrison. Chad, update received. The pursuit was then called off due to safety concerns. 33.25 plus visual in the city at this point. 10.4, 33.25. I'll be 10.40 continuing. I can't clear enough traffic to catch up. 10-4-33-25, what type of motorcycle? It was a crotch rocket. He had a helmet on. I don't recall the color, and I believe a leather jacket. I'm not sure on color. 33 one it just passed me at uh, 33 one a truck. Shortly after, another deputy reported mm, that the motorcycle had found passed him. by the law enforcement center, with several city officers also confirming they had seen it. So continuing, high rate of speed. What a moron. It's like he's trying to get attention from the cops. Why would you ride past the... The law enforcement center. Yes, sir. I will not pursue. Advise the return, please. Additionally, the Columbia County Sheriff stated that the motorcycle had collided with his unmarked squad car, oh, causing boy. damage. 1050 to my uh, squad here parked downtown. It is turning westbound on 16. 331 William Charles returns on a red Suzuki. 3325, that'll be the same description of a red Suzuki. 3300 additional. was parked downtown with no lights on. He came by me. He did run into my squad with damage. As he attempted to relocate the bike, he soon observed it in a neighborhood. The rider continued to flee erratically at a high rate. Set a motorcycle similar to that description, West Cook heading back inbound into the city. I believe it's the same rider. I'm trying to catch up. Correction, he's bound. He's bound from Pierce, so he's actually West Cook and Castle. Is that him? That's him. He's bound back <laughs> into the city, Cook and Castle. Got him. I'm behind him attempting to stop on my truck. 10 4 33 25. Due to the deputy's concerns about the high speeds and heavy traffic, he decided to discontinue the pursuit. Wow, he, he, he gave up twice. I mean, he's doing it for the right reason, safety, but this motorcyclist doesn't realize. Just quit while you're ahead. 25, 1080, I'm going to discontinue. Uh, last southbound. Wisconsin and Buck that he's a well ways ahead of me. 3325, copy 1080, discontinuing. Since they found the man's name through his license plates, they attempted to visit the address linked to the registered bike. However, mm. they discovered he had recently moved, prompting the need for further investigation. The sheriff's office made a Facebook post about the individual giving him the opportunity to reach out and provide an explanation for his behavior. During that, it was learned another deputy had coincidentally encountered the man earlier that same day during wow. a traffic stop, where he mentioned purchasing a new home nearby. Using realtor websites, a deputy located three recently sold homes in the area. The following day, the deputy visited one of the three addresses and spoke with a neighbor. 
The neighbor informed them that a young man had moved in within the past few days and that he oh, owned wow. a black and red sport bike. Gotcha. The deputy asked gotcha. the neighbor to call back upon seeing the man return to his residence. Later, the neighbor did call back, reporting that the man had just returned home and had seen the motorcycle. In response, busted. Other deputies were notified and decided to pay a visit to his residence. As they arrived, deputies noticed the motorcycle parked and covered in the garage. Man, he doesn't know what's about to hit him. Come on out, buddy. Come on out. After several minutes of knocking with no response, the sergeant decided to give the door a try. But are they allowed to do that? Are they allowed to just enter somebody's home? At least without a warrant. I love the Game of Thrones t-shirt though. <laughs> Before you go reach in the car, man, you got any weapons in there or anything? Okay. So what about the motorcycle? Oh, uh, no, yesterday. Okay, what happened yesterday? It wasn't working, so. Uh, going 100. Yeah. Going 100? Yeah. More like 140. Why did you do that? I had a really bad day, and okay. I, yeah. I wanted to blow off some steam, and I just wasn't f***ing paying attention to what my speed was. And then I saw one, and then I just... Saw one what? Cop car, and then I just kept going. Because I... <laughs> Why didn't you stop for him, man? Dude, I couldn't f***ing lose my license. I was freaking the f*** <laughs> out. I... You couldn't lose your license? Bro, I get it. You had a bad day. We all have bad days, but you could have killed someone. It's a, speed, it's a speeding ticket, though. Oh, but, like, speeding the thing is, ticket. I just bought this house. Mm -hmm. And I have a job, and that was all that was going through my mind. I was like, dude, I can't lose my license. I, I just bought this house. And, okay. yeah, so. You it, know, if, it wasn't, if this well, is Just relax, man. Just talk. <laughs> it, I, mean, <laughs> I love that. He just put his hand. So, oh, I mean, dude. When, when the cop turned around. I, I honestly thought about just crashing my bike and killing myself. I'm oh, not going to lie. Over a speeding on. ticket? Yes. Dude, I have. It's not my, worth it. My, <laughs> my, my, like my experience with cops has been awful, and I just, I don't know, my life was just going good, so I was like, I'd, I either end it right now as it's going good, or like I try and get away, and that's what I did. Okay. So. And you, saw, you saw his lights and sirens. I mean, it's one of those. I mean, I didn't it, see the first guys, but the second dude, yeah. Okay, so you took off because you didn't want to lose your license? Yeah. How fast did you get up to? One forty. Okay. In town? Out of town. Out of town. Sounds like you're going pretty fast in city too. Yeah. Lose some red lights. Look, I feel bad for the dude, but you know, <sighs> man, just why don't you like go, you know, find a punch bag, punch the punch bag. You didn't need to do one forty to blow off some steam. One of them. Yeah. Sounds like you got in a crash too. Yeah, I lost him here. How bad's the bike damaged? That's it? That's it. Didn't hurt yourself? Nope. I didn't hurt myself. When he learned who he had crashed into, he realized the state of his shit was even deeper. <laughs> Who'd you crash into? Uh, some guy in a black like SUV just tried to pin me against another car. You know who you crashed into? I have no idea. The actual sheriff himself. Oh, no. Okay. Kind of dangerous. 
Uh oh. You know it's not okay to take no, off from the police, I, I, right? I, I know. I know. All right. You know that when the lights come on, you have to stop. When the sirens come on, you definitely need to stop, right? Yeah. Okay. So you heard the lights and sirens. You just didn't want to lose I, your license. Yeah, I was freaking out, dude. I okay. It was on my adrenaline rush. I just, I, yeah. Why didn't you just call us afterwards? And say I made a mistake. <laughs> I don't know. I was freaking out. It's all over Facebook now. Yeah. They kind of tried to give you an opportunity to just kind of make it right. Yeah, I. Yeah, man. So you know that you can't flee. You know that's fleeing and eluding, right? Yeah, I right. didn't think about anything yesterday. Okay. You know yes. that if you get in a crash, you're required. At least he's not making any excuses. You know, he's just owning up to it. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. You can't just keep going. You're okay. You do know that. I, I honestly didn't think I did too much, to be honest. Do, it doesn't point. matter if I, you're no, involved I, in a crash. No, right? I, I. Yeah. You hit a car. Yeah. You're required to stop and report that. You're required to stop for the red and blue lights and siren. Yeah, Can't I, run. I, I have no excuses. I, I okay. truly, I have nothing. But Can't I run can stop signs, stop lights, and all that stuff. Okay. No, I was just. <sighs> I bought a lawnmower to mow the lawn because I had a house party yesterday, and um, it didn't f***ing start, and I was cranking it like 45 times, and I was f***ing pissed off, and my mom was like, oh, you're going to go for a motorcycle ride and cool down, and I don't know why the f*** I decided to, but yeah, there's, there's that. What, uh, what all do you have on you right now? Nothing. Okay. Alright. Alright, man, you are under arrest, okay? Alright. Felony clean, eluding, and, um... Oh, no, it's a felony? Oh, man. Hit and run. There you go. Let your hands go. Let your hands go. Thank you. You want your phone? Is your phone in here? Oh, on the. Oh, dude. Why? I appreciate. Just starting my day. Okay. I do appreciate you coming to the door and talking to me. Okay. Yeah. No. No problem. Sometimes we just got things we gotta get taken care of, right? Yeah. Yeah. Am I staying overnight? Uh, you'll be staying until you see a judge, bud. You got a, well, at least one felony, if not two, okay? Dang. So he's going to be in jail until he sees the judge. <sighs> Why? Why? I appreciate you collaborating, okay? I have to start with yesterday. Yeah. Um, he's asking if you would continue to collaborate a little bit. Can we get your helmet and your leathers? Are these the right shoes? Yeah, do I have to lose the shoes? Huh? Do I, do you guys have to take the shoes? Hey, Garrett? Yep. Yeah. Did you see the Facebook post? No, I don't really use Facebook. Facebook. Alright, did you know about it? No. I think it was on the sheriff's page and it was on the, like, some news. To be honest, most young people don't really use Facebook anymore, so I do believe that he didn't see it. Page, local, like Columbia County scanner or something. Basically, should it was... Uh, should have put it on Instagram or TikTok. Asking for cooperation that uh, you just call us and reach out and talk to us about the incident. As a result, the 22-year-old male was charged with two counts of felony vehicle, fleeing eluding an officer, and misdemeanor hit and run. On top of that, he racked up over $2,500 in traffic citations Dang. for every single wrong move he made during the pursuit. He was ultimately released a few days later on a $500 cash bond. Okay, we don't know what his sentence was. Want a deeper look into the channel oh, or crazy? Man, kind of felt a bit bad for the guy, you know. Just sounds like he had a bad day, but it didn't sound like... Because he said that he was having a bad day, but he said that he just had a house party, he just bought a new place. So I don't understand what exactly caused him to have a bad day, but, you know, we all have bad moments. But the way he chose to kind of get over that, he made the wrong choice and... You know, it's cost him, what, like 2500 plus, is he going to get jail time? Probably not, right? He's, he's probably going to get away with just a fine, maybe? Or what do you guys think? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.